Hello everybody, today I'm going to do my book review. And today's book author is going to be Eloise Jarvis. Well, today's title is going to be The Golden Goblet. I would personally think that this is very interesting. I've been reading about it and it is, as you can see over here, it is a new, very honor book. I have read many, many Dean Barry honor books, and I have reviewed many, many honor books. But I've seen that today, this one, I think, is the most interesting one. Let's dive deep into it. Rainerford only wants one thing in the world, to become a master goldsmith, like what his beloved father was. But how can he be one? When he's in prison by his evil half brother, who is a stone cutter, whose name is Gebel. Renfrew knows the only way he can securely change his destiny is to escape Gebel's abuse. But can a poor boy with practically almost no skills survive on the cutthroat streets of ancient Thebes? Then, Renfrew finds and discover a priceless golden goblet in Gabu's room and he knows his luck. His destiny and his fate are about to change. You can see over here, it looks so enchanting. It is, oh, and by the way, this is a puffin book. You can see in the tomb, Gabu is a tomb robber. After so many years of trying to find gold, had been missing in the goldsmith shop where he worked at. And every time, Ipni, the Bab Babylonian man, would always give Gebu a small skin of wineskin. A small wineskin filled with date wine. But... This white skin is very big, and it seems that there had been gold nuggets missing. Hmm, what could that be? Gabu, he thought. Well, well, he suspected that it was Ipni who was stealing for Gabu. Because every time Gabu would throw away the wine. Hmm. Ipni must be stealing gold nuggets and putting it in the wine skin, giving it to Gebu, and no one would even suspect that. Hmm. But suddenly, the next night after he had a really good hunch, Ipni was fired by Gebu. They had made an agreement, but this, they had made an agreement that Gebu was to buy his wine in this wine skins filled with wine quote unquote but he had been fired so hmm Gebu thought suddenly he was apprenticed no longer apprenticed or becoming a door porter in Ref Rex Goldsmith shop but he was now a stone cutter and out of the blue magically when the man who was a mason and Gebu, a stone cutter, became so rich, they had gold linings on the sandals. It was as if gold just flew from down on the air. Hmm. Who could it be? Who would be bad enough to do something? So one day, he and his best friend set out to spy on Wenaman and Gebu. But suddenly it seemed that they were avoiding each other suddenly. Hmm, this is very suspicious. What were they going to do? Were they going to spy on one hand? Were they going to take pictures of us? Sorry, they don't have any pictures or cameras at the time. Were they going to spy, climbing on trees, finding them? Or were they going to confront them? In front of the palace gods. Well, see you next time and maybe I'll tell you the secret.
write down in the comments below what you think it is. Bye-bye.